I'm Naomi from Quality Sewing and Vacuum, and today I'm going to be talking about the Scan and Cut DX 230 Disney Edition. So on this machine, you're going to get over 1,300 built-in designs, plus the cards that you can add. It comes with 140 quilt uh, block patterns and 17 fonts. You can plug in a USB and upload all the designs you want. You can use this as a standalone machine with this on this five inch uh, LCD screen. So if you look, you can edit everything right here. Or if you want to, Brother does provide a free software called Canvas that you can use from your laptop or your computer, or you can even use it right here on your phone. So you can be editing on your phone, save it, and then you can send it to your machine. So that's a fun feature right there. So we're gonna jump in. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this machine. So it includes all these built-in patterns, like I was saying. If you click on it, it's gonna open up several categories. You're gonna have fun shapes. You're gonna have cute designs. You can go back. It's got some built-in Disney. It's got words that are already pre-created um, for you. And it has borders, fonts, but let me tell you, the best thing about this machine, it has an auto blade sensor. And so what it does is when you put that mat in, the blade is going to measure the depth of the mat, and then it's gonna go over and measure the depth of the item you're cutting, whether it's paper or vinyl, and it will know the exact amount that you will need to cut. So there's no more guessing and like twisting and trying to figure out um, how deep you need to cut and all those trials and errors. So I can't say any, I mean, it's amazing. I love that it auto blades for me. It also has with the auto blade, a half cut feature. So if you're cutting vinyl, you only want to cut the vinyl. You don't want to cut the little carriage sheet that it's on. And so this allows it to only cut that vinyl you weed out all this excess that you don't use, and then you can put it on your item, whether you're using a craft vinyl, permanent vinyl, or an HTV, which is a heat transfer vinyl. Now I'm going to just select a random design. Okay, let's see. Let's do a snowflake. So once you select your snowflake, it's going to give you how big that snowflake is. And you can choose to go up or down. And then once you, you're okay with that, you hit okay. And it's gonna say, it's gonna make you confirm it one more time. You say okay. And then right here, it tells you, do you want more than one snowflake? Do you want maybe a dozen snowflakes? So then you can increase that if you want several snowflakes. So you can fit as many snowflakes on your, uh, your paper. Okay, so then say I have four snowflakes on here now. Right here, you can, if you wanna add more objects, you would hit add and you could add flowers or different shaped snowflakes or a snowman or whatever else uh, your imagination. Yeah. And then you can also hit edit. Now in edit, like I was saying, you can do everything on this screen. So if you hit object edit, it gives you another option of increasing the size it gives you another option of duplicating. So if you like go, oh no, I, I need five. You can add another one. You can rotate your design. You can add a seam allowance. So say you're turning this into um, onto a quilt or an applique and you wanna add an extra seam allowance. You can add that here and you can decide how big a seam allowance. So Naomi, what are the things you might cut? What sort of materials can you cut on your scan and cut? 
So great question. Um, the items you can cut on your scan and cut, it really varies. So right here, you can cut cardstock paper, you can cut um, construction paper. I've done like at my kids' school where they have the bulletin board and we've done scenes with construction paper. You can cut fabric with or without um, a fusible. I've got some glitter heat transfer vinyl. I have felt. I have felt with a backing. I've lost, oh, right here, this is like that 3D foam. Got some cardboard. So you can cut uh, anything that is up to three millimeters thickness. I've got burlap with a backing, sticky backing on it. And then you can cut, uh, let's see, I mean, anything like that you can get in there. You can also uh, do some embossing. You can use rhinestones. You can cut out the templates for rhinestones. There's so many kits. Uh, it just, it's, it's endless. You just come into the store and you can see all the kits on the wall and Something I like to do to cut out is if I'm making a patch. Uh, on most embroidery files now or designs you buy, it will have an SVG file, which is the cutting file you need. And it'll have the shape. And so on my patch, I had a shape, I had my circle. And then on my stabilizer for the embroidery machine, I had it do a placement stitch with the circle. And then once that's done, I just stick this down with some 505 spray and then it does a little um, tack down stitch and then you can make patches. So I'm gonna cut paper first. So let me show you some of the paper uh, projects I've worked on and then I will cut the paper for you. So the first item you can make, this is just a little uh, bookmark and I just got it off the Brother Canvas page. They have tons of free projects. And then I've got some cards that you can make all on your scan and cut. And then we have these cute little gift uh, bags. You can fill them up with candy or little goodies. I got holiday themed and then my uh, daughter picked out some fun unicorn themed. And then last night, my daughter and I said, oh, let's make something last minute. Cause I mean, we all do that, right? So we made this large flower and it was so much fun. It's got a shimmer. Um, look to it and it just it went together so quick i think i cut out the all the petals in 10 minutes and then another 20 minutes to assemble it so a lot of fun right here and isn't that cute <laughs> okay so the first thing we're going to cut is paper so i have my mat and you can see i did a test cut earlier but I am using a low-tack adhesive mat, and that's the right type of mat you want to use when you're using any type of paper products because you want it sticky, but you don't want it too sticky where it's going to rip your paper when you pull it off. So I really want you to pay attention to this because this machine is so quiet. So I'm going to go in here and just pick a random pattern. So. We were, we had a snowflake, so let's pick the snowflake again, how about? So I'm just gonna, I'm good with the size. I'm gonna hit okay. Okay, I only want one. And if you look right here, it is, you'll see it kind of show up on the screen. So then, maybe I had a smaller piece of paper and I had to make sure that snowflake was gonna get right on there. This button right here is your scanning button. So you're gonna hit start. It's gonna pull that mat through. 
and it's going to scan that whole map for you. And then once it's done pulling out, you're going to see it pop up and you can move your design around. So you can kind of see that. And if I hit this little toolbar, I can change the darkness. So maybe, so now maybe you can see it better. So I have lots of space on my paper, so I'm just going to put them right there and I'm going to hit OK. Now, you want to make sure before you cut, you have the right blade in. Right here, this blade, the black one, is for cutting pretty much everything except for fabric only. Here's your fabric only blade. It's a thinner blade. And then you just drop it in and you lock it. And then I'm going to hit select. It's going to ask you, do you want to cut it? Do you want to draw? emboss, foil, it just uh, pierce, piercing, foil too. There's lots of options, but we're just going to cut this. So we're going to select cut. And then one other thing to check. Like I said, this machine will cut all the way through or it will do a half cut. So anytime I get ready to cut something new, if you hit this little wrench and you scroll down one, right here it says half cut. And you want to make sure when you're cutting paper, because you want it cut all the way through, that it's off. So it's off, so we're good to go. And then if you wanted to, you could always do a test cut. So, but I'm confident it's going to cut. And we're going to hit start. So right here, it's going to move over. It's going to measure that mat, like I was saying. And now it's going to measure the paper for that depth. And listen how quiet. And you're just going to have a cute little snowflake here in just a minute. And it, right here it will tell you how long it's going to take. Okay. And then I'm going to hit this button, which will unload. Fold that up. And then I'm going to peel off my paper. And then you can bend your mat a little. Just. Of course, I pick one that has lots of little points, but it is coming up if you see. There we go. So I'll put it here so you can see. And it's got that same shimmer in the flower. And there's my paper snowflake. So yeah, the next item we're going to do is cut fabric. So let me show you the fabric samples that I brought in first so you can see what I've done. So starting up on the wall, these are some wall hangings that for like the hearts over here and the X's and O's, I cut them all out on my scanning cut with a fusible on the backing. And then over here, we've got the stars I cut out and the leaves. And then down here, I cut out all the flowers and the boots, pretty much anything that will fit on my mat. Because this machine does come, it has a 12 by 12 mat, and you can also get a 12 by 24 mat. And so anything that fits on my mat, I am cutting out because I don't want to be sitting there with scissors, chomping away, hoping that it's going to look good. This way, I know it's going to look good. And then, something my daughter did a few years ago, she made this little owl, and so she cut, we cut on the scanning cut, all the little shapes, and this is felt. And then I've got this guy, and I cut out snowflakes and the squares, like I said, anything that will fit. And then, this, this is a class I taught, but I use my scanning cut. And you know, it's, Valentine's is over now, but. So it's really endless. I mean, if, if there's something you wanna make, then you can, uh, and it fits, I say try it. 
then we have, so this one matches that wall hanging, this table runner. And if you have a pattern, so say you like to make doll clothes, if you have a pattern, you can scan that pattern in and then you can have the machine cut out all those pieces so then you don't have to worry about trying to, like I said, make things, um, when you're creating, you want, you're having fun and you want to not be frustrated. So why not make it easier, make it a lot more fun, you can be a lot more productive with your scan and cut. And then, this one, little birds. And then, okay, I think that's all of my paper, or all, sorry, all my fabric. Okay, so now, with my fabric, I, since they had a brand new mat for me, I'm using the standard mat, but they did just come out with a fabric mat, and that is very, um, it's, it's amazing. It just sticks on there, and it doesn't wiggle around or move. Um, you can use a new standard mat because, like I said, it's super sticky. This is just a piece of fabric. There's no um, fusible on the back. So then I pulled up a heart. We're going to open this up. Now remember, we're going to switch our blade out to the fabric blade. Just going to drop it in. Make sure it's in there. There we go. We're going to hit set. We're going to feed that mat in. And the nice thing is about this tray right here that's built in is say when you were moving it, it kind of got an air bubble. It's flat, so you can smooth it back down. Okay, so now we're going to hit that scanning button again. We're going to hit start. It's going to scan it. So then you'll see, I have my old cutout area and I've got my heart. So I'm just gonna drag my heart off of that area. And then you're gonna hit okay. And that locks it in place. So at that point, it won't move. And then I'm going to hit cut. And if you remember, the half cut is off and it stays off until you change it. So then let's just hit start and let it go. So it's going to do the measuring again. It's going to check. Okay. And then, okay, and you're going to unload your mat. And then pull this off. And there's your heart, your fabric heart. And like I said, if you were gonna, iron, if you wanted to iron it down, you can use the fusible and put it down, cut it out, and then you just iron it on. So now we are going to go into uh, vinyl. There's lots of different vinyls. Like I was saying, there is crafting vinyl, which is perfect if you, you can go to like Michael's and you can buy some jars and you could put some like, these are cookies and these are dog treats so they don't get mixed up. <laughs> um, you can do a heat transfer vinyl where my friend got me this bag that said woman, woman, human. And my last name's human. So I just put my name across it with the heat transfer vinyl. And then, you can also, so this one first, this is a t-shirt with the heat transfer vinyl. And these are some of the designs that are on that free file you can download on Quality's website. And they're, I mean, they're, 
they're on there. You just press the shirt for about five seconds before you put the vinyl on to remove any um, excess moisture and to get any wrinkles out. And then you put your item down, you iron it again for about 10 to 15 seconds, and then you peel off the clear transfer sheet and you have a custom finished shirt. And this right here is a shirt of my daughter's. And here, let me get, see, is that better? So this one is the heat transfer vinyl. And you see all those little details? I mean, this machine can cut so small. Yeah, that is amazing. Isn't that? A cute little puppy and her favorite color is blue. So of course we had to go with blue. And then if you, whether you're a crafter, a hobbyist, or you want to start doing like a side hustle, um, you know, my kids activities at school, they have a jog -a -thon every year. And so I will do their shirts. And so this is all vinyl and it's from their Jogathon from 2019. They came up with the design and I made it into the cut file. And you know, it's, it's a great little side income. And then maybe you don't wanna do shirts. You can do a cute tote bag. And this is just like that dog, this little turtle, all those little small details. Turtle, so cute. <laughs> and then some more from the free SVG files you can download on the website. Um, just three more sewing items, notions. So what about vinyl that you can make into purses and bags? Can you cut pattern pieces for that out? Yeah, as long, so can you cut thicker like sewing vinyl, embroidery vinyl, you can cut it out as long as it's not thicker than three millimeters. When the machine cuts a thicker item, it will do several passes. So say you have a circle, it'll do several um, passes of low depth. So it, it takes a couple more minutes, but it can cut it, no problem. Okay, so I take an old, or a scrapbook. It's a 12 by 12 scrapbook. And I like to cut a lot of vinyl, but I don't always know what I'm gonna put it on. So another little tip, I will stick it to the sheets and that way I can save them, I can preserve them, but it's there ready for me when it's, when it's time. And so you can see I have another dog waiting and I have a, an elephant. <laughs> okay, so the next item, let's cut the vinyl. And everyone wanted purple. Okay, so I have my standard sheet. And hopefully it's not too sticky. I'm using this vinyl that is a craft vinyl and it has a paper backing. And I'm just gonna put it on there, just like that. Can you explain the difference between the craft vinyl and the one you did on your t-shirt? Okay, so the difference between the craft vinyl and the HTV vinyl, which is heat transfer vinyl. Heat transfer vinyl, you, so if you have a t-shirt or a tote bag, the heat transfer vinyl, um, with an iron adheres to that item. So when you see t-shirts at stores that have prints and pictures, those are um, sometimes vinyl. And so this can be washed several times. There is glossy vinyl, matte vinyl, glittery vinyl. It's just, it's endless. But this is what you use when you wanna decorate apparel items. Now, like I was saying, if you wanna decorate a sign or some jars you're going to use a craft vinyl which is what this is and that will adhere but you can then at some point remove it if you want to and then there is one other vinyl a permanent vinyl and that 
is you can remove it, but it's a pain to remove. And that is really good for like car decals and stuff. But this one right here is the removable craft vinyl. And we are going to make a little sign today. So I already, I'm gonna go back to the home screen. And I, on my USB, I already put a design on there. So when you wanna retrieve designs, you're gonna hit retrieve data. It's gonna give you four options. One is if you save any designs directly to your machine's memory. The next one is if you are hooked up to your computer and you wanna send it via the internet. Uh, the next one is USB. And the last one is if you have like a, a cable plugged directly into this from your laptop. So we're gonna use the USB. And I've got my little design right here. And it says home sweet home. And we're gonna say okay and bring it in. So now it's loaded up and we're gonna hit okay. And we're gonna select cut. And please let me know if I'm going too fast or if you have more questions and want me to go back. So now I'm going to load my mat. And then one more time just to show you. So at this stage, you cannot scan it. But if you did want to go back and scan, you can hit go back. And then you would hit the scan button and hit start. And so, and if you notice, I'm looking right now going, wait, I need to switch my blade. So take my fabric blade out and put my regular blade back in. So you always want to be thinking of those little things. At home, I have little signs that remind me, double check this, do this, because you never know. Okay, so now we have the design in here, and I'm just going to scoot it down a little. Say I have a hard time scooting it with my wand. My little, I'm going to hit edit, and you hit this little arrow. It's going to let you move it with the arrows, which is really nice because sometimes it's like I just need to wiggle it into a corner. And so I'm going to hit OK and OK one more time and OK again. <laughs> and now we're going to select cut. Now, if you remember, we're going to go to the little wrench and we want to scroll down one click and that half cut is off. So we want to have the half cut on because like I said, we only want to cut the vinyl. This has a paper backing and we don't want to cut through that. We want to, we want it to look like this. So we're going to hit OK. And we're just going to hit start and say, let's go, let's do this. And it's going to do its measuring for the half cut. I just love how quiet it is. I know I say that all the time, but it's true. It is so quiet. Now, if you have a roll feeder, while this is cutting out, I'm gonna talk about the roll feeder a little bit. And I have taken this roll feeder and I have put up to almost six feet of vinyl on my roll feeder. And I've cut out big flowers and with the craft vinyl and then I put it on my daughter's bedroom door. So now she has these flowers all over her door and with this roll feeder you can do that. You can also do card decals if you want a big logo. Maybe you have your own um, small business and you want to put something across your window. You can also put a roll of paper in and you could draw a big banner. Um, this really helps add more um, positive things into this already amazing scanning cut. So it is done cutting now. So we're gonna hit okay. And we're gonna unload. And of course I forgot some scissors. So we're gonna peel this off and we're gonna be kind of careful because like I said, this is a super sticky mat. So I'm just gonna peel, there we go, thank you. 
And I will say there is a feature on here where you can put like a weeding box around. So like I have these words, it would have put a rectangle around it. So then you would have had like less waste. But for right now, I'm just going to cut because I can see it in these lights. And so you probably can't see, it. it's probably hard to see, but I have, it's cut out. And let me show you this. So when you are weeding, you are going to grab a corner and you're going to peel and hopefully you can see this. You just kind of keep weeding. I'm trying to go slow so everyone can see. And if you get to a spot that's hard, you just have to release it like that. And tell us about the tool you're using for weeding. Yes, so this is the weeding tool. It's a little pick and it comes in this six piece tool set that you're gonna get in this amazing deal. It comes with lots of tools. It comes with another stylus, a little flat spatula you saw me, and also a little scraper. Now I'm not done because there's little centers in E's and O's. You gotta make sure you get all those out. Okay, so now you can see that. Is everyone happy with the purple, hopefully? So now I have my little board here. Well, how am I gonna get it on? Because I'm not gonna peel and try to stick it. So I have my little transfer tape. And what you do is you peel up a corner and I lay it down like this and you just put it over. And then, let me find my little Actual tool that's hiding. So if you can't find it, I, you can take a credit card, you can take, um, you know, something flat that you can just get this where this tape is going to grab onto this vinyl. So then, oh, right in front of my face. Huh. Usually that's where things are, am I right? So now, and this spatula is in that six piece kit. It's so amazing, it has a nice sharp edge. And if you look, that vinyl likes to be your friend. <laughs> At my house, I have little vinyl everywhere. <laughs> okay, so now I know it's nice and secure. So what I'm gonna do now is I like to peel and roll and keep pressure because that makes sure that vinyl stays on that transfer. And then, oh, look, see, I removed something. So then I'm just gonna center it the best I can. Stick it on and you're going to, and I recommend not using a painted piece like this probably because it will pull some of the paint off. But I've done this a lot on my stained items and it looks awesome. Then you just pull that. And then you can stick your transfer back on there and you can use it again. And then you have your little home sweet home sign. Now, something else I want to go over real quick is you can do rhinestones, like I was mentioning. You can do it on shirts. You can do it on, like this is a little uh, bag. They've got this cute little purse they made with this cute butterfly. Um, you can do stickers, stamps, calligraphy, uh, paper piercing. It's just, it's endless. It's just, it goes on and on and there's so many fun things to do. Now, I'm gonna let you know one more time. Um, like I said, the special goes through Sew Expo weekend. It is $7.99, you get the machine, you get the roll feeder. And what machine is this again? You get the uh, Brother Disney 230D machine. 
So Roll Feeder, you get all of these Disney designs. I've seen some super cute pillows made with these. You get the six piece tool set. You will get a Disney vinyl auto blade kit. You're gonna get everything that's included, all the little tools that come with it. You can draw with this. So you're gonna get all your little extra tools in here. You can store everything here. Look at these cute little markers. You're gonna get a bag. Great for when we go back to in-person classes. Uh, there's just, it, it's amazing. This machine has really um, expanded my creativity and has let me explore areas I wouldn't imagine. And I really, I hope that you like this machine as much as I do. And you can purchase this online. We are shipping it all throughout the U.S. If you live in the uh, Pacific Northwest in Washington, we can also have, uh, you can order it online and then you can pick it up at your local quality sewing and vacuum store. Thank you.